top of the hour, 5 o'clock Eastern. I'm Poppy Harlow in New York, and you are live in the CNN newsroom. We begin tonight, of course, in Washington with presidential politics. In just five days, people around the world will pause and will be transfixed right here as Donald Trump takes the oath of office. It is time for the country to come together, but right now, 23 House Democrats say they will not be there. They are boycotting Trump's inauguration, and the list that you see right here, this is a list that is growing by the hour. Some are skipping because of the president-elect's tweets to their fellow congressman, civil rights leader, John Lewis. Trump accused Lewis of being all talk and no action. This is after Lewis said that he did not see Trump as a, quote, legitimate president. Our Suzanne Malveaux begins our coverage tonight in Washington with the latest. Good to have you on, Suzanne. And what is the Trump team saying about this back and forth between the president-elect and, and Congressman Lewis? But Poppy, Trump's war of words with Congressman Lewis, especially coming during MLK weekend, is deeply troubling to many African Americans. But Lewis is getting some strong pushback today from both the RNC head, soon to be Chief of Staff Ryan Priebus, as well as the Vice President elect Mike Pence. Now, some Republicans, they're clearly trying to give Congressman Lewis his props regarding his stature in the civil rights movement. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, they're coming to Trump's defense because they vehemently are opposed to any notion that Trump is not the legitimate winner of this controversial election despite Trump's own admission that Russia had a role in hacking it. Look, Donald Trump won this election fair and square. 30 out of 50 states, including Georgia. More counties than any Republican candidate uh, since Ronald Reagan. Uh, and, and to hear John Lewis, a man that I served with and that I respect, uh, to question the legitimacy of the election and to say that Donald Trump will not be a legitimate president it was deeply disappointing to me and also to hear that he was not going to attend the inauguration this Friday. I, I hope he reconsiders both statements. But well, Poppy, so far there's really no indication that Congressman Lewis would reconsider. In fact, he joins at least 22 other of his colleagues, House Democrats, who have now announced so far that they're not going to be attending the inauguration. And this all comes on a day when Washington is preparing for these inaugural events. We've seen dress rehearsals, band practice taking place at the Capitol. And it comes amid more controversy over some A-list performers who are also refusing to participate in Trump's big uh, rollout. We're talking about Broadway superstar uh, from Dreamgirls fame, Jennifer Holliday, announcing that she's no longer going to be singing at Trump's pre-inaugural concert that on Thursday after many of her fans complained and she wrote an open letter to them saying that her performance was really meant to heal the country but she's now reconsidered and Trump for his part he has chosen not to respond directly to Holiday but instead he did tweet out this saying for many years our country has been divided angry and untrusting many say it will never change the hatred is too deep and he goes on to say it will change so we'll see we will see. And this list of Democrats not attending has grown, as you know, Suzanne, from about 13, 48 hours ago to 23 now. We'll see where it goes from here. Is there a precedent for, for this many members of Congress not attending? Well, we've seen these protests before, particularly from the Congressional Black Caucus. So if you look back in 2001, there were members of the CBC who skipped George W. Bush's first inauguration to protest the Supreme Court's ruling on the outcome of that election, which they believe delegitimized Bush's presidency. But, Poppy, the number of members protesting back then doesn't come anywhere near close to what we're seeing, about two dozen who are going to be sitting out this one. And that number, as you mentioned, grew hour by hour today as people were reacting to Trump's criticism of Lewis. Suzanne Melvo, live for us in Washington. Thank you very much for that. There